have you been working on? So I'm diving more into producing music. Um, what I've realized, you know, talking about burnout, honestly, I feel burnt out from the whole protesting thing. Um, not just protesting, but like movement in general. Like I've been working in movement and bailing folks out for over a year now. So that in itself, it like takes a toll on you. Um, but I'm trying to find ways of merging that, like activism and social work with music and DJing. Yeah. Um, and I know that, that like there's ways that folks do it. There's obviously like, you know, you can donate your time for an event that's like intent, like with the intention of a cause. But I want to like do it deeper in the sense of like creating revolutionary music and like teaching folks, but also like saying some radical shit. So <laughs> yes. that's, yeah, I'm like learning Ableton right now. Um, my agent, Christine, sent me this book um, that talks about like sound and how it affects our psychology and like Ooh. i guess ways that we can like make changes with music i don't know like if you if you play music like a certain type of music that puts folks in the mindset of being more perceptive and you're able to like educate them in a way it's almost like i don't know like magic i don't know but yeah it's it, totally but it's like, well I because music educate. itself induces this like trance like feeling in your body it's kind of taking you to a higher place and then you mix into that music and that rhythm a message of sorts and they're open to it they're hearing it they're experiencing it uh john marco in the chat says if you ever want ableton tips he's got you that's my dude he definitely knows what he's doing um also moki baby says you look beautiful i just want to make sure you get that message <laughs> me too <laughs> Uh, Zach would like to know what that book is. I'd like to know too. What's that book? Actually, let me. I can open it up right now. Um, it is called. It is called Sonic Warfare by Steve Goodman. Wow. And so it's crazy because, like, literally the first, the first page talks about how, like, in certain armies they'll use um, sonic warfare, yeah. um, like. In, Palestine Israel situation that there's like they there's like sonic bombs and I don't know how to explain it but it's it basically causes like nosebleeds and like windows to break and like all this yeah. shit and like, and like one of the things they said is like yeah you know people were saying they prefer this as opposed to real bombs and I'm like the fact that you know sound is even being utilized in warfare is like so powerful so I think if we can like reappropriate that and use it for the opposite for revolution for change for positive change i feel like i don't know that could contribute that could be my contribution without having to always be putting my body on the line and be you know protesting with a sign on the streets you know totally because it takes a lot it takes a lot to be doing that and god bless everyone who's out there doing it at any point in time um I feel like that's not necessarily a new concept for you, though, because even going back to the Masisi parties and what you were saying about trying to create a safe space while creating a platform for this queer, black, diasporic perspective, I mean, that in itself becomes a political act in a way, you know, even though it's like we're having a party, again, you're mixing music and dance and community with this greater message. Uh, is that something that you were conscious of at the time, or is it something you now For look sure. at through a different perspective? Yeah, definitely. So um, I started the party with some friends who were all a part of Femme Power, um, and everything we do, honestly, is very intentional and very political, um, you know, from the shirts that we wear, like what our shirts say, or like even certain colors that we'll wear, or, like even the themes behind certain parties it's all very political. Um, and like one of the things that we hold deeply is that like, I don't remember if it was Toni Morrison or Audre Lorde or one of those like famous black like revolutionary women. But one of them said, um, you know, the revolution, the role of the artist is to make the revolution irresistible. Oh, and so like, that's it's, great. people are not gonna wanna like hear change if you're like, this is why, you know, like with the list, if you have to like, <laughs> sexy in a way yeah. so like that's what we were doing you know like in caribbean culture um 
being queer, being gay, being trans is looked down upon by a lot of um, conservative folks. So our like part in this is really just to like open folks' minds up and also have those communities of people that don't know each other exist. You know, the queer black folks in Miami who maybe aren't out or like aren't super flashy with it, but they want community. That's kind of that space for them to come together. That's so awesome. How long have you been doing those parties up until this moment? <laughs> so it's been a year since we've been doing it. Congrats, that's yeah. huge. 